Yeah, we don't want to get too far into the sensitive detail, that's all. Okay. Um, fine. I'm trying to... I think some of it was... I think, uh, I think, the, the, I think the, most of it was published. The ISC. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, anyway, so, so that... that we, we, we then had a discussion about whether any of that could be, um, c could be used publicly. Um, that, well, that decision wasn't made then. I think there were further discussions about that. Then word came back, yes, we could. We didn't really know at that stage how that was going to be done, but I commissioned at, at a certain point the CIC to do a paper on uh, Iraq and the, the issue of, of concealment, obstruction, intimidation, and the, the, the general messing around of the inspection process, historically as well as, as, well as current. They started to work on that and, um, and produced a, a, a paper, which I, um, which, I, which I think that we then discussed. That was fine. Uh, I made a, a number of... I changed, I think, the title. I made a number of textual changes within it. It went round the, the system and all that. So when, it, when it went round the system, did the, does that include to the JIC? Well, it went. It went. Um, I, 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 the, the answer to that is I don't know. It went. There, there were representatives of the JIC at that meeting that discussed okay. it. What, what? That then they then did with it. I don't know. Then the decision was made on. Um, and I'm trying to remember which visit to America this was. I think it was the one in. Would it be February? Uh, to, to Washington, we, we were meant to go to Camp David, but the weather was too bad, and we stayed in, in, in Washington. I think it was that one, where the, de the decision was taken that we would give this as a briefing paper to the Sunday journalists, the Sunday press. I think there were about half a dozen of them travelling with us on the plane to Washington. Now, as it happens, it got next to no coverage at all. Uh, it was interesting. I think they thought it was quite interesting. They were. Uh, it was there, it maybe informed some of the things that they wrote, or not, I don't know. But it wasn't, c contrary to the September dossier, which got massive global exposure, this got relatively little. And it became um, much better known and much more, and, and rather unfortunate uh, controversy when it emerged that actually um, elements of it, I know it's routinely stated it was taken off the internet, it wasn't. It was. Um, I'm not apologising. I'm not uh, defending it on this terms, by the way. But it, as a matter of fact, it was taken from an article in the Middle East uh, Journal. And then, once that, as it were, process point became exposed, uh, I think it was by Channel Four News. It, you know, whoosh, frenzy. But can I just go back to um, what you've just said? Um, first, the context in which this was being done. Why was it considered? important to have a, a document on concealment at this time? Because one of the arguments that kept being put is that uh, about giving, you know, just give the inspectors more time, give the inspectors more time, a tougher inspection regime, is the fact that in an ideal world, great, the inspectors go in, they do their job, but actually the reason, and people say, well, if all these weapons are there, why aren't they more... Why have these guys never been able to stumble across them as they wander around Iraq? Answer, because there is this system of obstruction and concealment and intimidation. So it was really just informing that part of the debate. But, but this came at a, at a quite critical point in the Unmovic process. Um, it's been put to us by previous witnesses that there had been a hope that a smoking gun would be found, and so far a smoking gun hadn't been found. So doubts were already being raised about the credibility, in the sense, of the September yeah. dossier. Um, and uh, it was published, I think, on the 3rd of February. Um, and as I think the Prime Minister made clear um, when he told Parliament about it, um, that a couple of days later, Colin Powell was going to make a big presentation to the UN yeah. Security Council. So um, this, this was not a trivial issue at the time. This is one of the... No, no, I've seen that. No, you haven't. This is one of the big issues of the moment. Uh, and the dossier does describe Umwevik uh, uh, facing a pretty hopeless task. We talked about, I think, 20,000 intelligence officers to 108 inspectors, yep. hiding documents, surveillance of hotels and offices, bugging... Bugging car crashes. Etc. Yep. So... so that was the point of it. Um, 
I'm puzzled by, by what you said about this being something that was given to, to journalists, because, because the Prime Minister did put it in, in the House that's, of Commons. That's right, that's true. No, no, the, the point is, that I was, the reason I said that is that, that that was, we gave it to the journalist, it got some very limited um, attention over the weekend, I think, in some of the newspapers. I, don't, I, I can't remember, but I don't think it was picked up. Uh, by the broadcasters, but the fact that he, the Prime Minister had been away, he was then going to make a statement on um, on his return to the House of Commons, and it, therefore, as it was a document that we put into the public domain, it was put in the Library of the House, and he referred to it. And he referred to it um, in the Commons on the 3rd of February, yeah. um, and he said, uh, we should further intelligence over the weekend about the infrastructure of concealment. Uh, it's obviously difficult when we publish intelligence reports but I hope that people uh, have some sense of the integrity of our security services. And it, it goes on in, in a similar way. It says the dossier that we published last year, and again in the material that we put out over the weekend, it's very clear that a vast amount of concealment and deception is going on. Yeah. So... Can I just say, by the way, the rep my first reference to the Iraq Communications Strategy Group is December 11 or 19. I, have, I, this, I haven't been able to get all the papers on this, but it's, it's around there. Thank you, that's fine. Um, but the point, I, the point I was making and quoting the Prime Minister there was that this was presented as if it had a similar status uh, and process to the September dossier. It's obviously a much smaller document. There hadn't been the, the same amount yeah. of advanced publicity, but the Prime Minister certainly wittingly or not, unwittingly maybe, gave that impression to the common. Yeah, no, I, I, look, I, I, I absolutely accept that this, the, the integrity and the professionalism and the meticulous nature of the September dossier, I would defend uh, to the end of my days. Uh, in relation to this, um, somebody within the CIC who was putting it together, um, he, made one, he made a very, very simple but quite serious mistake, which is that he... He put information into it, the, the accuracy of which, by the way, has not fundamentally been challenged. It was from a leading expert, a gentleman by the name of Dr. al Marashi. It was part of the historical section. It wasn't in the section that had any of the uh, intelligence in it. And that's what made it subsequently very controversial. We didn't know that until later in the process. In fact, we didn't know that until the media um, uh, informed us of that, when, when the story first, first broke. And then... Um, that, 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 so, so that's, that's where the mistake was and, and um, uh, fair to say that um, when Lady Bashar talked earlier about, um, about trust and that, 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 was a, 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 that did not help, put it that way. Uh, you've made the point, but uh, I think it's worthwhile just underlining it that the quality control, if you like, of these sort of materials was not there, yeah. uh, and there's no, um, and though this was, uh, I suppose the question is whether the JIC or the intelligence community were aware that the Prime Minister was going to present it in those terms. Well, can I just say on that, when, when the, the, the September dossier, that was the purpose of recalling Parliament, that was the purpose of the Prime Minister's statement. This event, the Prime Minister was bringing the House up to date on a, on a it's very important set of discussions with President Bush. And a very, very minor part of that was to refer to the fact that it would release this document and it was in the Library of the House. I don't think he made any reference really to the content beyond what you've, you've just said, but I totally accept the point about quality control. In fact, I've, I've, I'm just looking at a memo here that I wrote on the 7th of February, uh, where the, the very first sentence says, I hugely value the work of the CIC, but the controversy over the concealment document shows the absolute necessity of quality control this is particularly important in any document such as this one that includes intelligence, intelligence assessment. And I then set out uh, considerable um, d uh, displeasure, if you like, at the fact that it had happened. And also, as a result of that, I spoke to John Scala, I spoke to David Oman, I spoke to Richard Dearlove, uh, and I spoke to um, the, the Permanent Secretary of the Foreign Office, and Jack Straw, and we agreed a new set of procedures <clears throat> whereby basically nothing that had any in intelligence component whatsoever could be used in any form of public communications without going through the same rigorous process that the September dossier did.